A recent uptick in what many are calling sea lice across Atlantic and Cape May counties is proving to be an itchy nuisance for beachgoers at the Jersey Shore. As many are looking to enjoy the last days of the summer at the ocean, some pesky creatures have moved into the region. According to John Tiedemann, the director of the Marine and Environmental Biology and Policy Program at Monmouth University, they're not exactly what you think. They're not lice at, at all. Uh, and I didn't know this, but I looked into it, and apparently in the 1950s, people started calling them sea lice because of the reaction people were getting from the water. But they're actually the, the larval stage of a very tiny jellyfish called the thimble jellyfish. Since the beginning of August, there have been several complaints from beachgoers about the tiny creatures, and he says swimmers should be aware. When there's swarms of thimble jellyfish in the water, people may not even see them in the water, but uh, as a swimmer, uh, swims or as someone wades in and moves, the, even the movement of the water uh, that stimulates the uh, stinging cells to fire. And a jellyfish's stinging cell has a small amount of toxin to, to stun its prey. So what happens with uh, people is it, it, it actually causes, I guess you'd call it a form of, uh, of dermatitis. So it, um, it, it can cause a rash and that rash sometimes actually uh, blisters. The irritation or rash is normally mild, but some cases have been severe. While these living organisms are normally found in places with warmer water, like Florida, many marine experts say the recent tropical storm may have played a role in the increase of reports of them at the Jersey Shore. Reporting for New Jersey News Network, I'm Veronica Dudo.